Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be my top 10 least favorite worst base game pieces of equipment that I think personally are in the game. Now this is going to be, I guarantee it, I'm sure I'm going to get some angry comments below about this video. Some of these pieces of equipment are going to be very controversial for you guys, or at least some of you guys. You guys are probably going to disagree with me and that's okay. If you disagree with me, I'm totally cool with that. But do it in a constructive and nice way is what I would say. But let me know what, down below, what are your favorite pieces of equipment, or your least favorite piece of equipment, I guess I should say. And if you have uses for any of these that you use any of these regularly, please let me know down in the comments what you use them for. I'm super curious, honestly. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the store. We're going to take a look at some of this stuff here. All right, number one is a couple of actual pieces of equipment here. It's the Masa. So this, I think I'm saying that right, the Ropa Moss. So this one does all of this stuff. And what it does is it, unfolds and picks it up off the ground and moves it. I'm going to be honest, I've never had a use for that. Some of you guys might have a use for it. I don't pick things up. This actually might be one that console players might actually use, but I don't use because I just, there's other things. There's either, even some of this stuff, there's multi-fruit silos, so I don't put it on the ground or any of that sort of stuff. Um, there's just better ways to do it. The other thing that I don't use is this. And I also will say this as I'm going through some of this stuff, that is in the game is if you wanted to play super realistic and has real purposes in the real world. However, in terms of just playing the game, unless you're trying to play super realistically, really doesn't have a different purpose compared to other stuff that's just way better. So I will note that if you go down below and you say, well, farmers use it in real life. I know, I know this piece of equipment in real life. I know they have real purposes in real life. This is just about a game. So that's, I just want to put that disclaimer out there as well. I know I'll still get the comments anyways, though. So we're just going to keep rocking and rolling. So this one as well picks up just sugar beets. I just think these guys are absolutely useless. because I think there's just better ways to do it than these guys here. So that's just my personal opinion. Let's move on to number two. All right, number two on the list is this. This is the Jens Hem 92 DQ Cobra Hybrid. It is a self-propelled wood chipper. Now, you might say, well, it's a wood chipper. That can't be useless. And you're right, it's not useless. The reason this is useless is because there's a better way to do this. First off, there's wood chippers and other things like that. And you can go into here and under forestry, if I can find it down here, you can find a wood chipper. Look at that guy right there for $190,000. No big deal. Easy peasy does the same thing. Um, I know it's not self-propelled, but you can tow it around. You'll have a vehicle for sure. Um, this guy, though, $660,000 for self-propelled wood chipper. That's all it does is chip chip wood chips. Just to put that in perspective, if you sold wood chips in normal economy mode at the best possible price, you would need to sell over 2.7 million liters of wood chips just to cover the cost of that, just to cover the cost to buy this. You would, that is 2.7, you would make $660,000 if you sold over 2.7 million liters of wood chips at the best price in normal economy mode. So just to put that in perspective for you, it is going to be very expensive to have this very expensive wood chipper. And that's why I think it's pretty useless as this gets too expensive for what you're going to do in base game. All right. Number three is a plow, not plows in general. Now it would have probably been this plow here because this plow also stinks. This is 1.2 meters. Who's going to plow at 1.2 meters, uh, maybe jab will, but sorry, jab, <laughs> uh, anyhow, uh, but it's this guy right here, the Salic PN2 300. Yes, it's super cheap. I'll give you that. Um, it'll create fields super cheap for you. If you want small fields are great. Only requires 12 horsepower. That's great. Doesn't weigh very much. That's great. 0.5 meters. Who in their right mind is going to go out and plow a field 2.5 or 0.5 meters at a time, 0.5 meters. Half a meter. No one's going to go out and plow. It's going to take you forever. It's going to take you eight years to plow any field of any side. To plow an acre at this, it'd take you 60 years, probably. Uh, that's probably not true. Obviously, it's an exaggeration. But, and I know plows can have some use in game, but I think that personally, this one is just very useless. This was actually added in an update. It, wasn't, it didn't come out originally with the game. But regardless of that, that's what I'm, that's just my personal opinion on the plow there. And small plows in general, I'm not a big fan of. And honestly, plows in general, I'm not a fan of either. I prefer to use subsoilers because I think they're just more efficient. Now, obviously, if you're playing base game, this is one of the only ways to make it field. You can't do it with a subsoiler, so there is that. All right, here is where it starts to get super controversial. This is number four is all power heroes. I say they're all useless. Why? Because we have better things that do things faster. All they do is cultivate the field at seven miles an hour and require a lot of horsepower to do it, whereas you can do the same thing with a cultivator that does nine miles an hour and you can get way wider and all sorts of things. You can also use a disc arrow and do the same thing and it's way wider and it goes 11 miles an hour versus 
seven miles an hour. So that's why my personal opinion is power heralds are very useless. Now, yes, in the real world, there are reasons to use these and they're great. They are great. I'm not saying they're bad in the real world. In the real world, those using these farmers would use these, but in game, there's really no purpose to it unless you're playing, trying to play realistic intentionally. So that's just my personal opinion. And for number five, as we continue with the controversialness of my video, we have these spaders. I think all spaders are useless. They do essentially plow a field. They can be used instead of a plow. However, four miles an hour, as opposed to the seven miles an hour plow, I would never think a plow would be fast compared to anything, but it is compared to a spader. And these things require a lot of horsepower um, and they're just not useful. They're useful and again, real life, they have a purpose, but in game, there's no purpose for them. So that'd be one thing I'd say is they're just the most useless piece of equipment or one of the most useless ones because there's no real purpose for them. So that's what I have for you. All right, number six, this one, I went back and forth on, I don't know if it fits in this list or not, but I'm gonna throw it out there anyways. It's the KUHN Espresso 6000 RC, this guy right here. The only reason I think it's not super useful is it's $10,000 more, or $11,000 more actually than this guy right here. It requires more horsepower. It does the same working width as this guy and it weighs a little bit more. Now, to be fair to it, it does move one mile per hour faster, which can make a difference, but both of these guys seed and fertilize and to be fair to it as well, it holds 1500 liters more of either seed or fertilizer. I'm not sure which one, it's actually probably a combination of both, but it basically is the same thing as this and they both direct drill, both these guys direct drill. So they're basically the same seeder, except this guy is a touch faster, holds a little bit more and requires more horsepower. That's the main difference there. So I say it's not very useful, but I don't know. Just what, let me know what your opinions are on that. All right, the next one on the list, number seven, the Einbach Chopstar 590 plus Rogard. Now I know, I'm sure this has a good purpose in real life, but in game, this is honestly one of the most shocking pieces that I think you guys will all agree with me on. $9,500, six meters, seven miles an hour, no big deal. This guy, nine meters, seven miles an hour, a little bit more expensive. This guy, 12 meters, seven miles an hour, a little bit more expensive. This guy, 15.2 meters, seven miles an hour, a little bit more expensive than that one. This guy, more expensive than all of them, all of them, more expensive than all of them. For the same job, requires more horsepower. Does the same thing this does, except this requires more horsepower. And actually this can plant grass, oil seed, and canola. This cannot. So this is actually more useful for the same width, same working speed, except this one weighs half as much and this one requires 50 more horsepower and costs over double. So this is probably one of my least favorite pieces of equipment in game just because of that. Now I'm sure all the heavy stuff they're adding, the road guards or whatever they're adding to it, I'm sure in the real world they have a good purpose, but in game, there's no real purpose to this thing here. All right, and continuing on with another controversial one probably, we have the Sepka Nussel F240. Now the reason being, yes, I know this is a nice alpine mower and it could work out there, but in terms of base game, a mower is a mower. It's just the way it is. So this guy, $12,000 for 2.4 meters at 12 miles an hour. This guy, a mile per hour faster. It's 0.5 meters wider, 60 horsepower. Given, yes, this does require a little bit more horsepower, but it is cheaper. So it's basically cheaper for a better mower. So unless you have a tractor that requires a low horsepower, very low horsepower, this guy would be the one to get. And even then, yeah, I mean, you probably could still make that one work, but that's really the only reason to get this if you need that low horsepower requirement there, which you probably will have something that has 60 horsepower. So um, that's why I would say this is really not a very useful mower for us to have in game. All right, next up in this one, I know some, I'm gonna get some kickback for this one and probably the next one too, quite honestly. Um, this is the SIP Air 300 F Alp. It's this guy right here. I say this is useless for a couple reasons. One, it is a three meter wind drawer. That's great for $15,000. Why wouldn't I use the one that's a little wire for $5,000? You know, they both run at the same working speed, same working speed as all these other wind drawers. This one's also cheaper, 4.7 meters. Why wouldn't I get the extra 1.7 meters? 35 horsepower, this one requires 100 horsepower. So these are way less horsepower as well to run. Now I know the pushback I'm gonna get with this one. This thing is front mountable. You can put it on the front of your tractor. Whereas these ones you have to pull behind. I understand that, DJ pointed that out to me. I had him look at my list here before I, I did this video. But um, yes, it does go on the front of your tractor. But here's the issue I also see with that. What? are you possibly going to need to put behind your tractor that this is so important to be on the front? It it kick is gra kicks grass either to the left or the right, not to the center, I don't believe. Um, and even if it does kick to the center, it's still not that useful because, well, again, it's not very wide. So 
Even if it did kick it to the center and you build it behind you, that's the only use I could see for this, but I don't even believe it will do that. It just kicks to the left or the right. So as far as I'm concerned, it's really not that useful. It's just more expensive for a not as good item. Um, yeah, it's very similar in price, honestly, to this guy even. This is a little bit more for, again, 8.4 meters compared to this. So over double that, almost triple that actually. So that's why I don't think that's a very useful piece of equipment. And last but not least, actually a new brand we got, and some people were pretty excited about it. Kingston Trailers, the Belvedere. This thing is pretty useless. Um, yes, I know it's a fifth wheel hitch, so you could be like, well, I can't use this one because I have a fifth wheel hitch. Well, I guarantee you that whatever you're using as a fifth wheel hitch also has a regular hitch, so you could use this guy. And this guy holds two horses, so does this one. This one holds two horses, except this one weighs twice as much. And again, I know there's a reason to have this over this one in the real world, but in game here, and yes, I know this is an American brand versus not, so that could also be part of your uh, process there, but it weighs twice as much, does the same job as this one right here, and this one right here costs $6,000 more. So you might as well buy this, especially since horses really aren't that profitable anyways in games. So yeah, that's why I think this one's actually pretty useless in terms of that. But without further ado, that is my top 10 least favorite pieces of base game equipment. I'm sure you guys are just, just seething, heated, hot in your seats, angry at me, and that's all right. Let me know down in the comments in a nice way about what you're angry about, why, what you use some of this equipment for, and why you use it. I actually am super curious because there may be things I'm missing about this, so let me know. Or if there's other things you think I missed that are also super useless, let me know down in the comments. Let me know down below, guys. But anyhow, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys next time.